People in a North Charleston neighborhood are talking about their concerns after large groups of geese have formed in their community ponds. That's right, and neighbors in the area say they enjoy the wildlife, but the overpopulation of these birds is causing some problems. News 2's Walker Simmons visited the neighborhood today to hear from residents there. According to the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, most geese will shed their feathers and become flightless within the months of May to July, and it could leave some, like the gaggles here in Northwood Estates, congregating in yards and on the streets. From blocking the road to leaving droppings in neighbors' yards, geese here in the Northwood Estates are creating concerns. It's been an ongoing issue that one resident says has gotten out of hand. Just to walk out, they're, they're so aggressive that they come to my front door now. You know, they'll come up and you have droppings, uh, and I'm constantly taking my hose and washing down my, my walkway, my driveway. You know, they'll try to attack you or run up to you, you know, so... It's just out of hand. North Charleston Council member Virginia Jamison says the community is used to ducks and geese in the area, but now with gaggles of up to 40 geese taking up yards and roads in the neighborhood, it's something that's impacting the quality of life for residents. The livability and quality of life for me and my constituents is very, very important. And that's what I said I would be focusing on and that's what I focused on. The community says they are hoping to get support to decrease the geese population in the area. The South Carolina Department of Natural Resources has posted a list of ways to help limit gaggles, like using decoys of owls to prevent congregations of the bird. SCDNR does warn that it's difficult to get the geese to leave the area once nesting begins. And News 2 reached out to DNR for more information and is waiting their response. Over in Northwood, one resident says he enjoys wildlife, but with the overpopulation, now his community is asking for help. Not against wildlife. I'm outdoors for myself, but when it gets out of control, somebody needs to do something. SCDNR also says to avoid feeding geese as it could attract more to the area. At 5 and 6, more on how this low country community is raising concerns about the overpopulation of this bird. In North Charleston, Walker Simmons, count on two.